what's up you guys Fezzo here welcome to as a cool video tutorial today I'm gonna teach you how to make this kind of picture here's the realistic 3d text uh, into the road and a nice uh, flare effect and blurriness and 2d text on the road so I'm gonna teach you how to make this so you need the uh, road picture and this is not HD but it's taken by my friend so I'm using this one if you're looking for HD pictures so uh, search it on the Google but I'm using this picture in my tutorial so uh, let's open this demo and get started first go to render settings and write your uh, picture resolution minus 960 by 720 and go to anti-aliasing and change it from geometry to best and change the maximum level 2 by 2 so go over the this picture and select background so make a new material open it and go to color and go to texture drop down and select load image and load your road picture click yes close this window and drag this material into the background so if we render this uh, here is the picture so we need to add plane go over this blue box and select plane then before we do anything, uh, change the size from 1000 by 1000 and select your rotate tool and shortcut is R so I'm using this and rotate it in the same position uh, with your road ok like that so drag this material into the plane and go over the material and go to projection and select frontal so right click on the plane go to system of 40 tags and compositing and turn on the compositing background if we render this we can see the plane so next thing is adding the 3d text then go to more graph more text and write your text I'm gonna write Fezzo and change the text 50 and select uh, go to align and select middle okay and select your favorite font I'm gonna use walkway Font in this tutorial. Okay, bulk way. Where is it? Okay, ultra bold. You can download it from thefont.com. So go to caps and select uh, pilot cap and do the same on the end and change the radius from 5 to 2 centimeter. So I'm gonna rotate it like that so change the position same with your plane and I'm gonna change text and plane position uh, same with this uh, road so select the more text and plane and select rotate tool and rotate it like that okay so I'm gonna increase the text size a little bit bigger so go to object and increase this okay like that so if you render this it's not 
looks uh, realistic so go to render settings and go to effect and select ambient occlusion and go to effect again and select global illumination and in the global illumination tab go to uh, radial sketch and change this first to one low from medium to low it's increase your uh, render speed a lot faster so if you use faster PC or laptop you can put this on medium so go to ambient occlusion and go to accuracy and select 75% and go to contrast and select 50% so uh, close this window if we render this we can't see anything so uh, we need to add material we need to add color and light first I'm gonna add light and change the light position like that so uh, make a new material, open it. I'm gonna select uh, white, not full white. So you can select your favorite color. I'm gonna use uh, white color in this tutorial. So go to reflection, check this, and go to texture drop down and select first and change the brightness uh, from 100% to 10%. and change the mix rate uh, 20% so drag this uh, on the text if we render now it doesn't take uh, so long only one minute so as you can see nice uh, white text really realistic and uh, realistic shadow under the text it looks very uh, realistic so I'm gonna increase the depths a uh, little bit bigger so 60 so go to render settings and go to save I'm gonna save it to my folder name it tutorial and select the PNG or JPEG right there go to option and make the JPEG quality 100 click OK then uh, close this window and click the surrender button uh, it takes uh, one minute or less than one minute so uh, I will come back when this rendering is done okay guys here is the result so uh, next step is adding the to the text on the road uh, color correction lens flare and some blurriness effect so uh, open the Photoshop and let's start the second step uh, of our uh, our photo so go to file open you open your uh, picture which is you render it so right click on the background and select convert to smart object so uh, click this uh, button says create new fill or adjustment layer and select uh, levels and change the middle one 0 0.90 if you know the color correction you can skip this step or uh, watch my color correction tutorial and uh, on my channel a uh, link will be in my description so go to this uh, icon again and select color balance and select the last one uh, plus 5 middle one minus 5 and first one minus 10 you can play the settings 
I'm using this settings right there. So click again and select curves and make this line like that. You can create two points and go over the curves and select the opacity 75 then press enter so next thing is adding the uh, player effect so go to file players and go to graphics so flares and let me see uh, right there I put this uh, player in my description downloading in the description so you can download it and when you download uh, open the player place into your composition and press enter before uh, doing anything grab your eraser tool as you can see this icon right there click on it and click ok and select the opposite 100% and increase the size of the razor tool and erase the flare corners like that keep erasing like that and uh, decrease the opacity about 50% and erase again like that so go to blending option and select screen and here's the realistic real sun uh, behind the text so uh, drag this I'm gonna erase there. Then uh, drag this over the sun. I'm gonna uh, decrease the size a little bit. Press enter and put this player on the real sun over the text. Like that, you can change the opposite about 90. Okay, it looks very nice. So, next thing we're gonna do is adding the blurriness effect. So, select all these layers, right click, merge layers. So, select in your layer, name it uh, picture and select your picture and go to filter blur field blur it will be a little laggy so uncheck this field blur and change uh, open the RS blur click this little drop down icon and uh, change the blur and um, for you can select whatever you want but I'm gonna change it 14 pixel so as you can see here is the uh, big sphere and make the last sphere a little big and change the second sphere make it smaller like that and put the center right there So you can increase the uh, last pair size just play uh, these settings
I'm gonna decrease the last uh, despair. So it looks very nice. So I'll click this OK button right there. And here we have a nice uh, picture. Okay, guys, next thing is adding the to the text. So grab your text tool and write whatever you want. I'm gonna write my text. And I'm using the same font and make it bigger. So, right click on the uh, text layer and select convert to where it is, uh, convert to smart object. So, uh, press Ctrl T on your keyboard and right click on it and select this one. And you can change the position. Just click on the corners and drag it. Make the same position uh, with your road. Like that. Okay, so press enter, then uh, double click on the layer and check the drop shadow and go to plant mode and select normal and change the distance from 5 to 3 and uh, change the size 6 then go to ultra glow and change the blending mode normal and change the color black and change the size 10 and opacity 20 and go to drop shadow again and change the opacity 50 then press enter then uh, go over the text layer and go to blending option and select overlay so you get the nice uh, text effect looks real realistic so you can do it for your other uh, road picture like that so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching, don't forget like, comment and subscribe.